Warringah is extremely important for many reasons. It has the highest number of species of birds, reptiles and mammals for any part in Africa. The lakes that are incredibly rich in aquatic species. And then finally the mountain gorilla habitat which makes Warunga famous. Not just because they're a, a unique critically endangered species that are so charismatic. They're critically important for um, relaunching the economy and the conditions are not right. The Civil War started with a, a series of quite localised mutinies and the rebels occupied the guerrilla sector and that's when things started to heat up for us. It was the highest level of violence that I've ever known in the 20 years I spent in Congo and they were using heavy artillery, they were using um, combat helicopters that were firing rockets into this area. The park is managed through the rule of law, and so when there's war, when there's political insecurity, the institutions that um, maintain the rule of law become very fragile. Others take advantage of that, and the pressures of that puts constant attacks on our staff. In the last 18 months, 12 of our staff have been killed um, during these confrontations with armed groups. Um, who are proliferating at the moment as a result of the, the political instability. It also puts the infrastructure, everything that we've developed these last few years at risk, and so we have to work very hard um, to keep it safe. But there are many threats. You know, the park is surrounded by some of the densest human populations. It's, it's an area that has been impoverished by years of political unrest, and those communities and their economies need to be revived. And then there's the constant um, pressure on natural resources, charcoal, petrol, and it's something that needs to be handled very carefully. I'm very fortunate, um, as the Parks Director, to have an exceptionally committed team who do continue to work whatever the conditions. If we were to fail in our efforts, we would be doing irreparable damage to Africa's natural wealth. That's unacceptable. We feel very passionately that there is an enormous potential for job creation, economic growth. You only have to look at the neighbouring countries, examples like Kenya that have had 40 years of relative stability. Um, that's an extremely important example because it creates a young generation of Congolese who are highly qualified um, with long-term careers ahead of them, um, and that's real development.